Welcome to another episode of Roblox Scripting Tutorials. My name is Captain Lettuce, and I'll be guiding you through this part, well, part five now, of this Morph GUI series. So first thing we're going to do is open up our world, obviously, and come over to our local script. Actually, no, we're gonna. I'm going to show you guys. We're we're going today. We're going to be doing some bug fixing, and then adding in. Uh, the, like if you're in the group, if you're in the group, you can see the menu and you teleport to your spawn. If you're not in the group, you don't see the menu. That type of idea. So we're gonna fix the glitch where if you select that morph and it's like select a different one, like you still have all the body parts that you shouldn't have. So let's get into that. Down here, we're gonna make a new function uh, called remove objects. And we're going to come up here to our give helmet function. Copy and copy this, or highlight that. I mean, Control X, so that deletes it and copies it. Comes down to remove objects, and we're going to copy and paste this a few times. So we need one for the helmet, one for leg one, leg two, arm one, arm two, and chest. And we're going to go ahead and name all of these: arm two, arm two, leg one. Oops, leg one. And then chest there. And then we're going to copy and paste that function name. Come down here to where we select our morph. And we're just going to replace that print button to dot text line with that remove objects function. So now if we test this and we select the Cody morph and then another morph that doesn't have anything. We won't have anything. I mean, when we click spawn, though, we still will. So we have to uh, fix that up. Uh, actually, we're gonna now we're gonna do this an easier way. Yeah, let's get rid of let's control X that and come down here to our spawn and control V. And we're just going to put in selected morph. All right. Then we're going to come to our morph script here. We're going to delete this. And then we're going to highlight all of this. And then bring it down into here. Using control X. And we're going to name this morph dir actually oops we should have kept it the way it was yeah sorry keep keep it the way it was and we're going to copy this these lines here highlight all that and hit shift tab a few times to bring it back down there and we're going to change give helmet to weld object here and we're going to change this. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of these. And we're gonna do morph dir. Then we're gonna do morph dir. We're gonna change all those there, the, all the v3s to morph dir. Forgot to do that one. V3 morph dir. Blah 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 blah. Then we're going to control X on that. Bring it down here, and we're going to change Dev Trooper to Player dot Character. And that object dot Parent to Object dot, or Object dot Parent changes to Morph Dir. So let's test this. If we choose a Cody Morph and spawn in. back up here we're going to delete this print hmm let's see out object oh we have to remove that player actually or no we'll just add it down here we're going to put player 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 
This is a really inefficient way to do this, but it works, so we'll do it. Weld objects, not valid number of model. What did I screw up there on line 55? Weld object, model. Oh, that is a stupid mistake. I have no idea how I even did that. So choose Cody. So we, when we spawn in as Cody, we get all our stuff. And say if we choose Cody and then choose a morph that doesn't have all the cameras and backpacks and stuff, when we spawn in, we spawn in without all the fancy things. All right, so that's done. Just gonna make sure my audio is recording. Yep. All right, I recorded this a couple hours ago when the audio just wasn't recording and I don't think I've ever been more mad in my life. <laughs> we're gonna come over to our division module script and down here we're gonna add main group equals zero. And what you're gonna do here, you're gonna add in uh, your main group ID. So let's come over to our groups and I'm just gonna choose my primary group. Foundation Game Studios. I'm gonna put that in. So it's gonna make it so if I'm in that group, I can see the more, or I can see everything. But if I'm not in the group, then uh, I just don't. I, I won't be able to select my morph or anything. So we're gonna add a line here. If player is in group divisions dot main group. Oops. Then we're gonna move all this up into here. We're going to copy that line, come down to here, highlight all this, enter, type an end, and then here we're going to do else print not in group. So if they're not in the group, it's going to do this line of code, but if they're in the group, it's going to do everything that's here. So let's test this. I'm in the group, so it should work fine. Yeah, I can see everything. But let's say I am in, let's just choose this random group. I'm not in this random clothing group. Oh, that's not even a clothing group, it's a person. This group, I'm not in this group. So if I change the divisions main group to that and test it, I just simply spawn in. But we still have all this uh, GUI stuff here, so we're going to get rid of that. Come over to More Selection GUI and click Enabled. And then we're going to scroll up to the top of our script. And we're going to type in script.parent.parent.enabled equals true. So if they're in the group, the GUI will pop up. If they're not, it's just they're just going to spawn in like this. So let's change this divisions back to a group that I'm in and test it again. And as you can see, it works. I can spawn in as Cody. So now we're gonna make it so if, uh, when you click spawn, it's gonna teleport you to your team spawn. So we're gonna insert two bricks. We're gonna name one brick Raider spawn. And we're gonna name the other one Friend spawn. You can color them if you want, doesn't really matter. You don't have to. And then we're gonna highlight both of them and come down to surface and change the front uh, surface to hinge. So when I spawn in, the player is gonna be facing the, the same direction the yellow thing is pointing. I'm just gonna change the size of these because this is annoying me. I like it when things are the same. And we're gonna change the top and bottom surface to smooth. Um, don't worry about if they're visible or not because we're going to make it so when the game starts uh, these uh, will become invisible. Why is that one bigger? Oh, that's making me mad. Okay. There. Okay. Whew. OCD, guys. <laughs> so we're going to come back into our script. And we're going to come down here. So the only way they can actually click the spawn button is if they're in the group obviously because they can see the GUI. So we're gonna come down here and do uh, player.character 
app.torso.cframe equals game.workspace.friendspawn.cframe. So that will teleport them to the friend spawns location. And here we're going to get rid of print not in group and change this friend spawn to enemy spawn. Or sorry, raider spawn. And let's test this. I'm in the group. So when I click spawn, <laughs> we forgot to anchor it and make it non collidable. So anchor not not collidable. So when I spawn in, I spawn the blue one because that's what group I'm in. And if I change this divisions group to one I'm that I'm not in and spawn, it will teleport me to this red one. Now I just thought of a problem that we might have. And that is if we click the spawn button before selecting the morph, it's yeah, it's gonna Oh actually that that Hmm it lets you spawn in without your stuff. Some of you guys might like that. If you like that, then go ahead and leave it. However, if you don't, we will fix that right now. So come over here to your GUI thing and click Spawn. And we're going to make this not visible. And then up here where it says Select the Morph, we're just going to do script.parent.parent.spawn dot visible equals true. Again, if you if you like that you can spawn in as your normal character, just leave that. And if you don't, then we'll just uh, do what I did. And then it's not going to appear until you actually select a morph. Actually, let me see. If I remove this, change it back to what it was before, and spawn in. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just testing something quickly. And I reset, and then select a morph. It might glitch. Oh no, we're fine. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put that back the way it was, because I like it like this. That you have to select your morph before you can actually spawn in. And there you have it. So. If you guys have any suggestions of what you want to see in this, in the next video of the Morph GY series, come over to the Discord channel uh, in, where is it, chat room. You can put in video suggestions, your suggestions, obviously. And I'll respond to each one of them. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can buy the VIP, link will be in the description. If you buy VIP, you can you have access to all the code that we work on. Like I give you a file you can download. And uh, you have one hour early access to all videos. You can also support me on Patreon. If you do that, it's like buying a mega VIP. And uh, all the mega VIP stuff can be found on Patreon or on the uh, Roblox Scripting Tutorials Roblox group on the mega VIP shirt. So go ahead and buy those. It's nice to support me. I do most of my work for free now, so I need the source of income to stay motivated, obviously. Also, uh, I'll be making a bunch of free Star Wars stuff um, that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So also in the suggestions, uh, I'll add a new channel for that. Uh, Star Wars suggestions. You can put all your suggestions in this channel, and I will uh, see how many I can make, all for free, and they'll be publicly available. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.